Hi again, YouTubers. So it is that time of month and February is gone and done and I couldn't be happier because I am so looking forward to no more snow and ugh, just, I don't even, like, I don't even care about summer weather. I just don't want to have to wear like Ugg boots anymore or my hunter boots. Like I am so sick of wearing like not fun boots. Like I don't mind wearing boots, but I want to wear like my fry boots or like something fun or whatever. I don't want to wear heavy blah looking boots. I just want, I just want nice weather. I'm sick of the wet and the grime and the blah. So, um, I am excited for March. Hopefully it starts to warm up a little bit. I've had a couple of days here or there in February that weren't horrible, but you know, I'll take whatever I can get. Um, all right, so on to these couple things that are really, really standing out to me a lot this month. I have six favorites, I have two regrets, and I have one empty. I think that's everything. So um, the first thing that I am in love with, and I use this every single day, and I have backups, and I don't ever want to be without it, and somebody told me that this is not limited edition anymore, but I'm not 100% sure of that. So it is the Guerlain Meteorites Less Ores. This is what it looks like. It is uh, little gold pearls inside. Um, it is beautiful. It is amazing. I just love this stuff. And there is not enough I can say about this product. It just blows my mind how great my skin looks when I use this, something about it. I do have a full review on it, but there's not really words I can come up with to fully explain what it does. Um, it just softens my overall look. That's the only way I can explain it. It doesn't reduce pores, it doesn't reduce fine lines. It just softens my overall look, which makes you look, I feel like, younger and more like alive. I don't know, it just, and I know I've only heard from, I think, one person who got this and hated it. Um, but I don't know. It's just, I don't feel like in person, like, I really notice it. But people say things to me. And on photography, I notice it. Like, it's like angels singing. This stuff is just awesome. It's super expensive, though. So um, I will put links below. If you are interested, you can still buy this online. I will put a link for that below. But love this stuff. Love it, love it, love it. So I kind of sort of lied. I think I have seven favorites because I forgot about this one until I was talking about that one. And this one is a favorite too. So I'm going to have seven. That's all right. It doesn't happen that often. Um, I got a lot of good stuff this month, I think is what it is. I had two good hauls and they had really great stuff in it. So another thing that is, I swear, these two things together are what I think the difference is when people are saying that my skin looks different and I look very, you know, they can't even put their words on it. They just keep saying I look very alive, very glowy, things like that. And I swear it is these two items. It is all I have changed in my routine. And this is the Amore Pacific Treatment Enzyme Peel Botanical Exfoliator. And this stuff is amazing, amazing, amazing. I love it. I use it every single night on the container. I think it says to use it, uh, let's see here. I think it's supposed to be like every other day. All right, I don't see it. I feel like it said that somewhere though. I don't know. Now it doesn't say it. So anyway, um, huh, now it doesn't say, I think it might have said it on the box, but maybe I'm totally wrong on that. This stuff is just amazing. It just has retexturized my skin. Like I used to have these little bumps on my forehead, gone 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 like and this is the only thing I've changed in my skincare it just has made my skin feel amazing and it just has totally rechanged the surface of my skin it just is amazing now it does not re has not reduced any brown spots for me or anything like that um well maybe they I'm not as blotchy I'll say but the texture of my skin this is amazing now again this is fairly expensive but I had said in my, I have a review of this as well, I'll post the link below. Um, I had said that this seemed expensive to me. It was $60, but it would probably last six months because I've only gone through this much and I've used it for a month. And 
I think I said that I thought this would last six months and people have told me because this also predetermines how much you have to use. Um, it dispenses the right amount for you. So people have said to me that this lasts nine months. So that is not that expensive if you're using it every night for nine months and it lasts that long. So that is amazing. Those are my two, like, I don't think I'll ever be without products again. Like angel singing, love them. Something about them just makes my skin look amazing. Um, the next thing that I have been really loving and using, um, I have had and used for quite some time the Guerlain uh, Lingerie Depot Foundation. Um, sorry, there's a little sticker that came off the back of this. Um, I really like that. Um, I think it's a phenomenal foundation. I will do a full review on that. Um, this one is kind of like a step up from that. This one is a slightly same finish, same everything, except for this one stays longer. This one just has a better staying power, and it is the uh, Guerlain Ten de Perfection, um, which it's just day perfection. I don't know why I said that funny. Okay, time proof foundation with sunscreen, ultimate lasting perfection, broad spectrum SPF 20. And I have been using this foundation um, when I'm going out places. I have it on today because I wanted to use it for this video. And then um, I also have been using the lingerie depot during the week and the days just when I'm not as concerned with exactly how perfect my foundation stays. Um, so that kind of is a little bit there. I love both of them, but um, this one is definitely a favorite for the month. I will have a review coming up on that soon. Next thing, I'll stay with Guerlain. Um, loving these. Guerlain, um, these are called the Meteorites Light Revealing Pearls of Powder in the number three medium. And you know what's funny is I, I love the smell. Oh, it just smells so amazing. Um, I had, I feel like tried I don't think I tried these maybe, but I tried, and I'm talking like years ago, like eight years ago, I had tried either, I tried these and I also tried a compact version of these and I liked the compact better at the time because I was looking for more of a matte finish and that one had a little bit more matte finish. Now I want a little bit more of a healthy glow, you know, that kind of youthful looking skin, I guess is the best way to put it. And this is awesome for that. Now. It is, again, another product that um, if you watch my face of the month for February, isn't that the one? Yeah, I use these um, at the end. And I feel like if you look at that, you can see the difference in my skin beforehand. And then you can see the difference in my skin afterwards. And it just adds a little something. Again, it is very, very, very difficult to find words to explain these products and how they work. It just works and it's very very difficult to explain but I have been using these every day uh, people say that these that the ambient lighting power powders are a similar effect to these um, maybe I have the wrong one I have dim and it is nice and I like it and it is easy to take with me this is not easy to take with me and they don't have a compact version of this anymore they do but it's like $175 for a compact I don't want it that bad um, but these I like the result of better. Maybe I have the wrong hourglass powder. I don't know. I'll have to ask Josh on that one. He'll tell me. Um, so next thing I have been loving, uh, unlimited Elizabeth, um, unlimited mommy and I are friends. And every time she would have a video up and I would say, what do you have on your eyes? Like her, her day in the life with buddy. Um, I would say, what do you have on your eyes? And every time it was the same thing. It was the makeup forever. These are called aqua cream. It's number 16 shade 16. And it is a very light pink color, very pretty. I have it on my eyes today and I have been, I've been a big pink on the lid type of person lately, ever since the Naked 3. I never realized that it looks good on me, but this is amazing. I love it, love it, love it. It's just really great and I will do a review on that as well. I'll do one on this soon too. Um, next thing, Kat Von D, it is called True Romance Eyeshadow Palette. I had purchased this in the one called Saint. Um, I like the packaging. I always feel like there's something loose in it, but it's just the eyeliner that's inside. It has a nice release. It comes with an eyeliner pencil. Um, it comes with how many shades? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shades. Um, they are beautiful. I have this pink one on my lid. I have the gold one in my crease. 
I have this brown one in the outer crease and on my bottom, bottom lash line. And then I have this second one in as my brow highlight and my inner like tear duct highlight. And I was, I didn't think I was going to like this, honestly. I thought that this was just going to be okay. And this, honestly, you'll have to look at my blog for swatches and for a close-up of this. These all look like they're running the same in this camera. And these, all, well, and these look similar. And then these, they are different. Um, so that's kind of hard to see in this camera but um you can go to my blog and see that but this is a really really great palette it's easy to take with me and it's just gorgeous i'm absolutely in love with it next thing i have been in love with um is the anastasia brow powder duo in the color caramel and this is the duo one that has two colors in it and i mix the colors together the caramel is too red and this one has too much of an ash tone. So I mix them together and I do my brows and I think my brows have been looking better and I've had compliments actually on videos that they have been looking better than anybody's seen. Um, and I still use my Blink Brow Mousse over this and it helps it stay but this just has a great way of defining my brows. It just looks amazing. Um, oh, one last thing I do want to mention. It's not... Um, my necklace, the, um, it's from one, what's the company called? One something. Um, I'll put the link below. They have, I love this. I have been wearing this every day and I get more compliments on this thing than I ever have with any necklace. And I've got some like more extensive necklaces that I feel like would draw more attention. But this, people compliment me all the time. I never take it off. I have my other necklace I keep on with it, but I never take it off right now. And I love it. And it has not had any issues. I shower, I go to the gym, I sleep in it and it's fine. And I love it. Um, she does a great job. I think I'm going to order a monogram one too. I think I might do that. So um, on to my regrets. Um, one of these I am still a little bit unsure of, and I'll tell you about that one first. And it is by the Anastasia, Anastasia ugh, and it's called the Dip Brow Pomade in the color Auburn. This, oh, packaging's gorgeous. It looks a lot like a paint pot. Um, it is ridiculously, ridiculously creamy. The problem with this is you have to have the, see like I mix these two colors together. You have to have the exact right color to make this work for you. So go into a store for that one is kind of the gist of that. The next thing that is a regret, oh, and I feel so bad. I have two Anastasia regrets. And this isn't really anything against this. It's just, it didn't work for me. And it is the honest, an, why do I want to say Anastasia? Anastasia Beverly Hills. Oh, what's it called? I put the box away. Well, it's an eye palette that looks like it is just gorgeous colors um the pigmentation's nice i just i don't know it i just wasn't wowed by it i don't know i just i wanted to be i just wasn't and maybe i should give it more time um and i can't find this at sephora anymore either and that's where i bought it um i think they have it at nordstrom's though um, i will put links for everything down below too but i just wanted to love this so much and just something about it didn't work with me I don't know, maybe it's because I'm more into the pinks right now. Um, last thing is an empty, my Kenra Platinum Hot Spray Firm Hold Heat Protectant Spray 20. I use this anytime I do my hair like this. I do have a tutorial coming up on this type of hair, how I do it, what I do, all of those type of things, because I have been asked that ever since I started wearing my hair like this. Um, I did review the curling wand that I used, but I didn't review or do a tutorial and people wanted to see that. So I have that coming up, but uh, this one's empty, it's gone. So that's it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions. I will be doing reviews on the majority of these things here. Um, and uh, let me know if you know any tips for using this dip brow, something I might be missing or do I just have the wrong color? So hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.